if you're practicing a sinful lifestyle and you think you're a Christian, I cannot stand before you today and say to you that you will go to heaven, that you have eternal life. In fact, I need to say to you that you, unless you're born again, will be one of those to whom Jesus will say, depart from me. I never knew you that way. There was no conception. There was no new birth. I'll know that I'm saved because I will sin less, though I'm not. Okay, this sermon is entitled, J.D. Farrig is going straight to hell. I'd like to open up with prayer, and then with a few verses, all right, dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners, I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 26 reads, Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in mine integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord, therefore I shall not slide. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins in my heart, for thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. Now, I'm not even sure if I'm pronoun pronouncing this stupid, unsaved, false prophet's last name correctly. So let's just call this guy J.D. Pharisee. It's a very befitting name for an unsaved devil who's trusting in works and teaching a works-based salvation. Now, according to his quotes, he basically implied that if you practice sin or if you habitually sin or willfully sin, then you're not born again. What this means is that he has not trusted Jesus Christ to pay for all his sins. He still sees himself as a non-sinner. And according to the Bible, he has no truth in him. He has no light in him. And he has no salvation. And he's going to split hell wide open. This J.D. Pharisee, this stupid unsaved bastard, this stupid devil. He needs to be exposed for the unsaved reprobate that he is. Turn over to 1 John chapter 1. Let's take a look at verse 8 and it reads, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If you think you don't sin as much as you used to, or that if you're truly saved, you won't continue on in sin, like this stupid, unsaved fool has said, what this proves is that you have no truth in you. You don't have the Holy Spirit. You have no spiritual discernment. The Holy Spirit is what illumines our minds to the truth of the Scripture. It lets us know that there is none righteous, no, not one. It lets us know that for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and that our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. It doesn't unveil to people that they're not that sinful. And that if you're truly saved, you'll have a fleshly conversion. And that's his definition of a, the rebirth. It's you change in the flesh. When in reality, the rebirth is spiritual. John chapter 1 and Titus 3, 5. The rebirth has nothing to do with the flesh. The flesh never changes. Okay, the Apostle Paul made it very clear that in the flesh dwells no good thing. If we walk after the flesh, you know, we'll physically die, the Bible says. And everyone has the flesh. And you don't lose the flesh you know, this stupid teaching of eradicationism or whatever whatever they call it, where you just, the flesh gets eradicated. No, it's still there. But unsaved false prophet reprobates, like this J.D. Pharisee, they don't get this. They don't understand that there's a battle between the spirit and the flesh, and that we're called to walk after the spirit. But yet the flesh is, is still alive, and we still sin. And he has not trusted Jesus Christ alone for salvation. He hasn't received salvation as a free gift. He hasn't believed the gospel. He's trusting in himself, and he's going to split hell wide open. This J.D. Pharisee is going straight to hell, and that's pretty much all I have. And he just needs to be marked and avoided, and people need to be warned of this stupid, unsaved, unredeemed, unregenerated, satanic, blasphemous devil. That's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.